Okay, so you are in for a treat today because I... Oh, I got the hiccups. Um, because I'm going to show you how to make a really stylish, bold acrylic art piece. It's, mm, sorry. It's really easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so first things first. You're going to need a piece of stretched canvas. This one right here is 18 inches by 24 inches. Is. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I got the hiccups going on right now. And also, you're going to need some heavy duty glue. Uh, you can get this at your local art store. And then you're also going to need pieces of acrylic. These ones are pre cut into rectangle shapes. All right, so go ahead and arrange your acrylic pieces into a pattern or design that you like. Um, for mine, I tried to do a really random pattern, and you can move pieces around to see how you like it. These pieces of acrylic had a film on top of them that I had to peel off before I could go further with the project. As you can see, it looks way better once all the film is removed. So once you have your acrylic pieces arranged in a way that you like, you are ready to start gluing. So all you're going to do is flip the acrylic pieces over and then, and then uh, get the edges straightened out as best you can. And they have to be pretty straight also or else your final piece is going to look really messy. The first time I did this, I thought of just gluing the uh, pieces onto the canvas. But then I realized that the canvas, it, stre it stretches. And so what I had to do is keep the tiles on a flat surface and put the glue on the acrylic first and then set the canvas on top of, on top of that so that the canvas was as straight as possible and didn't dip down like it would if you put the acrylic pieces on top of it. All right, so once you're ready to start gluing, be aware that you don't want to put too much glue on the back of the tiles because, because when you put the canvas on top of it, if you have too much glue, it's going to seep through the cracks and off the edges. And that's going to get onto the front of the tiles and it's hard to clean up. And if you wait too long, it's darn near impossible to get off. So uh, just be aware that when you're putting the glue onto the back of the tiles to Use enough to adhere it to the canvas, but not too much that there's a lot of seepage. Because you want the whole face of the structured canvas to be covered by the tiles. So just make sure that the edges of the canvas are square to the edges of the tiles. Once the canvas has made contact with the glued tiles, just press it firmly so that there's a good adherence to each other. Ideally, you would just let this sit for a day, but most likely, and even in this case, it happened to me, they're going to have some seepage. So I would wait about 30 minutes and then carefully try to flip this canvas piece over without the tiles falling off. I successfully did that with this piece. Um, and the reason why you want to do it after 30 minutes is because it's set enough that the tile should stay onto the canvas for the flipping process. But in case there is seepage, and there probably will be, you still have time to wipe it off. Once everything is dry and set, you're then ready to wire the back of the, the piece. Whenever you wire a painting or any art piece, there's a few things you need. Uh, I like to use a ruler, a pencil, a hammer, a nail, screw eyes, and picture wire. I think that's everything. You're going to measure about four and a half to five inches down from the top of the picture and make a mark on the inside of the frame. You're going to put the screw eyes on the inside of the frame, not the back. So that way, when you hang the picture, uh, it'll be flush with the wall. So on those marks that you made, you're going to take your nail and hammer it just a little bit into the frame, basically to start a hole for the screw eyes. And you can just use your hands to screw the screw eyes into the holes. If you need a little bit of help, that's fine. Just get some like needle nose pliers to 
give it some torque. Once the screw eyes are in, you're ready to put the picture wire in. I make sure the wire is as wide as uh, the picture is, with maybe like two inches extra on each side. Go ahead and thread those through the screw eyes. I don't really tie a knot, I just wrap it around itself um, a lot. And then on the other one, make sure to pull it really taut and do the same thing. See, I'm just wrapping it around. I'm not really tying any knots. It's just going around and around. Be careful not to poke your fingers. Uh, you probably will. I do almost every time. So just be aware of that. And then once you have it wired, you're ready to sign it. And your piece is done.